Lakeland Volunteers in Medicine is a service organization which is really directed towards giving medical, dental, and mental health care to the working uninsured of our community. Well, back in 1998, Dr. Glenn Barden and Dr. Angelo Spoto both had a concern and a burden for those that didn't have access to health care because they didn't have health care insurance. There were those of us that were in the medical profession or that uh, were working with individuals in the community that we saw that were, were not able to get medical care through the normal channels. It came about because the dedication of those two physicians and then the work of the Watson Clinic Foundation and other community providers. We were able to build Lakeland Volunteers in Medicine and now we've celebrated 15 years, going on 16 years now. Due to my daughter turning 18, I lost the Medicaid. Working part-time, I didn't know how to afford insurance. I didn't know what I was going to do. I, I didn't even know how I was going to afford my medications. I drove trucks for 26 years. Had insurance. I also have sleep apnea. So they passed a law about driving trucks with sleep apnea. So it knocked me out of a truck. Didn't have the proper insurance and couldn't get medication from my health issues. She had a tooth that was hurting really bad. They told me it was going to be at the doctor we were currently at, $500 to get her tooth pulled, and we didn't have the money for it. At Lakeland Volunteers in Medicine, our patients have access to primary care, specialty care, uh, labs, x-ray, pharmacy, dental, mental health, uh, all the services that you would get uh, in a large multi-specialty clinic. I think that LVIM is important to our community here in Polk County because we do have a large number of working uninsured um, people and they just fall between the gaps. I tell you, I was at Wits End, didn't know what to do. So I came to LVIM and to see if I could get some help. And that's when I got to see a doctor for the checkup before he would give me the prescription. And then he listened to me and I told him I'd been sick and all my symptoms and he ordered an x-ray, which he instructed me that it didn't look like it should. I knew I needed some help, you know, and then I thank God because when I came here, I was like, uh, it helped me out a great deal. Yes, and so I'm able to control my blood pressure my diabetes and with medication and through you know my doctor visits things has gotten a lot better for me. We love LVIM it's great coming here because I've been able to bring my kids before we didn't have insurance we got kicked off of Medicaid and with incomes going up and down and all that so it's nice being able to bring them and receive the free health care and my daughter's able to go to the dentist now and we're not having to worry about how to come up with the money so that she can have her tooth pulled. With my dental work, when I, when I got my, my partials in, I said I could smile again. Not only just with this smile, but in my heart. But I have an 18 year old that's in college and I want to see her graduate. She just started her first year. And because of this place, I probably will be able to see her graduate. Well, the volunteers that come are some of the greatest people I know. They want to be here. They're not here because it's their job, but when they're here, it is their job. They really enjoy what they do. They give tremendous amount of hours. I love to volunteer here. I work, and I still try to find time to come here. But when I came to LVIM, I was blown away from the help and the friendliness, the volunteers here, the doctors here, the nurses. I think the spirit is just so sweet. I like coming here because it's a lot of fun and they really help me and the doctors and nurses were really nice, nice to me. The Both of the um, nurses and doctors that I had here, they were really nice. They made me feel happy and I didn't feel embarrassed or anything when I was with them. <laughs> They're just wonderful, wonderful experienced people here and the, the volunteers are outrageously friendly and helpful. You know, just because someone can't afford health care insurance, we don't want them to come in and thinking they're getting uh, secondary care. So we make sure that this facility is well staffed by the volunteers, that the facility is clean, the equipment is up to date, quality equipment. And we think it's very important for the patient to be a part of their care and part of the time and direction is that of helping the patient to understand how they are a part of their own care. And this is a continuity situation, not an episodic care, which the patient might otherwise get, say, in the emergency room setting or a single visit to an urgent care setting. 
They don't just forget about you. They, they, they stay on top of you to make sure that you're, you're taking your medications, you're eating properly, you know, what's your weight like, you know, or how's your blood pressure, your, your blood sugar level, how is that doing? It's almost like a community meeting place, and we see them often, you get to know them. It fosters, I believe, humanity. I love being at LVIM, providing patient care. I treat my patients like I would treat anybody that I saw. Every person has worth. Lakeland Volunteers in Medicine is completely supported by donations and grants. Uh, we get no federal money. Uh, our patients don't pay any fee. We're able to provide uh, about five dollars of health care for every one dollar that we actually spend. If you consider that we spend about 1.5 million dollars a year, we're, we're returning over six million dollars of health care every year to this community. I think it's important to support LVIM because there's so many people that don't have health care, don't have doctors to take their kids to. Between 85 and 87 percent of the donations we receive go to direct patient care. If it wasn't for the donors and the volunteers, there would be no Lake Volunteers in Medicine. LVIM, they make sure that people don't fall through the cracks. The patients feel like family. We do treat them like we want to treat our own family. <laughs>